Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to look at the integration between IBM Security Identity Governance and Intelligence and Salesforce. Um, in my environment, um, I have already configured uh, Salesforce as a target application in IGI, as you will see here. Um, this is done um, through the target administration module uh, by, by uh, importing the adapter profile. So the, the full details of how you would actually do that uh, can be found in the uh, adapter installation guide. Uh, you can easily find that in the uh, IBM Knowledge Center website. So for this demonstration, um, we'll walk through a use case where uh, an administrator needs to provision a, a Salesforce account to an employee. Uh, normally, this would involve the administrator logging into um, the Salesforce uh, UI and provisioning the account there. Uh, with IGI uh, connected and integrated with Salesforce, the administrator can, can do all that provisioning account management task uh, right from the IGI admin console. So. Uh, let's go ahead and do that uh, for a use case. Um, let's say we have an employee, um, Kevin Davis, who needs to have uh, a Salesforce account. So as the IGI administrator, um, I look for the user and um, go to accounts. Click on add, and I simply pick a uh, Salesforce account. Now I am going to provide a, uh, a user ID to use for the account. I'm only doing this uh, just because Salesforce requires the user ID to be in an email address format. And the way I have my IGI environment, the user ID is not um, in that in that format. Now this can easily be done through through rules in IGI and can be fully automated, um, uh, but I don't have that automation in my environment. So I'll go ahead and manually add the user ID. Um, I'm not going to specify a, an account expiration date. Um, it will be active for as long as the employee is active. Provide a initial password. Click OK. And we can follow that process along uh, through the monitor tab in Access Governance Core. Like refresh. Okay, so IGI tells us um, it was able to successfully provision the Salesforce account. Um, let's go ahead and test that out. Okay, so now Salesforce accepted the login, but because I used a uh, temporary password, it's uh, uh, forcing me to change it to a permanent one. Okay. Change password. And there it is. I am logged into Salesforce. And I'm able to do about uh, what I need to do um, in, in Salesforce. OK. And I'm logged in as uh, Kevin Davis. So um, the, the uh, user attributes on my, uh, on my Salesforce account was automatically uh, provided by IGI um, to Salesforce. Okay, so now for our next use case um, will be for when the employee leaves the company and 
um, the account um, needs to be disabled um, or, or deleted. So normally, again, this would be this would involve the um, administrator logging into the um, Salesforce um, user interface and uh, either disabling or deleting the the user account of the employee that has left the company. Um, with IGI again, um, the administrator don't need to log into to Salesforce. It can be done straight from the IGI admin console. Um, it can be automated um, through if there's a if the if there's an HR feed. Uh, going into IGI and through the use of rules, when an employee, uh, you know, is uh, set to a terminated status or or whatever status uh, it is used by the company to, to indicate that the user has left the company, um, the Salesforce account can be uh, disabled or or uh, deleted. So for our use case, we're simply going to um, manually um, suspend the, the accounts of the employee. So we'll find our user. Kevin Davis. And we'll go to the accounts. Now we're simply going to um, suspend the user's um, IDS account or the their IGI account. By doing this, um, all their other accounts will automatically be suspended as well. So again, we follow it along in the uh, monitor tab. Okay, so IGI is telling us um, it has successfully disabled um, the user's um, Salesforce account. So let's go ahead and uh, try logging in. And we get the message that the uh, Salesforce uh, account has been disabled and uh, the user needs to contact their administrator for assistance. So there you have it. We've demonstrated the basic use cases for provisioning uh, a Salesforce account as well as disabling it through the IGI admin console. Uh, IGI using the uh, Salesforce adapter to perform the account management tasks uh, in Salesforce. Uh, other things you could do with, with the um, the, the Salesforce account include um, updating or modifying the account attributes, um, as well as uh, changing the account password. Um, this is the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching.